assalamu alaikum this video is about ratio and proportion and this is second video of the series ratio and proportion here we will discuss few problem let us have a look at the note if a set of objects is divided into three groups in the ratio of a ratio b ratio c then the first group contains a upon a plus b plus c of the objects and the second group contains b upon a plus b plus c of the objects similarly for the third group for the c group that would be c upon a plus b plus c now in this problem we will use that note and those formulae in order to find the fraction of the different objects when the objects are divided into three different groups so here you can see that okay let us read that if the ratio of the large to super to jumbo bags of popcorn sold at cinema city was 8 ratio 17 ratio 15 what percent of the bags sold were super so we are asked about the super bag that how many super bag were sold the percentage of super bag sold first of all we need to find the fraction of sold super bag and then we need to convert that into the percentage but before that we need to understand this ratio over here that how three different groups are given in these ratio the given ratio is 8 ratio 17 ratio 15 representing the large super and the jumbo bags respectively this means 8 large bags were sold and 17 super bags were sold 15 jumbo bags were sold and we are asked about the super bag that is this 17 the amount of sold super bag is 17 and this is you may can say that a, a 8 is a 17 is b and c object is 15 so we need to use here the formula b upon a plus b plus c so we will find the ratio for sold super bag so that would be the fraction representing the super bag would be equal to 17 upon 8 plus 17 plus 15 this is the same as b upon a plus b plus c we can further simplify it then we will get 17 upon 40 but this is the only fraction of the sold super bag but we are asked about the percentage of the bag sold were super so as this is a fraction now and we can easily convert it into the percentage multiplying by 100 so the bags sold were super sized at the cinema city equal to 42.5 percent we had just multiplied here by 100 in order to convert this fraction into the percentage now here is a question 6 if 3 upon 4 of the employees is a, in a supermarket are not college graduates what is the ratio of the number of college graduates to those who are not college graduates so in this problem we are asked about the ratio of the number of college graduates to those who are not college graduates and what we are given here we are given the ratio of the employees in a supermarket are not college graduates so what does it mean 
here this ratio means for every four employees three are not college graduates so with the help of given information we can say that for every four employees in a supermarket three are not college graduates what does it mean now it follows that one is college graduate with the help of this fraction this ratio we can say that if for every four three are not college graduate so the remaining one is for every four the one is graduate and now we are asked about the ratio of the number of college graduates to those who are not college graduates so we can write that the ratio of graduates to non graduates that is required here graduate to those who are not college graduates would be what here you can see that the graduate is 1 to non graduate we know that for every four we have three non graduate employee so we can write that you just need to keep in mind the order whenever we are given the word problem there you need to keep in mind the order how they are given the first you need to write the ratio for graduate then non graduate so that would be 1 ratio 3 so that would be the required ratio for the graduate to non graduate employees thank you see you in the next video